Hello and welcome back to 5 Minute Geography with me Stephen Doyle. Each week I'll be uploading a 5 minute video explaining as simply as possible the world around us. What's scarier than a tornado? Well how about a tornado made of fire? Today in 5 Minute Geography we'll be looking at a fire whirl, also commonly known as a fire devil and seeing just how scary they really can be. Firstly a big thank you to Jack Lynch for suggesting this topic and don't forget to stick around to the end of the video for another 5 minute geography fact of the week. A fire whirl, also commonly known as a fire devil, is a whirlwind introduced by fire. These start with a whirl of wind often made visible by smoke and may occur when intense rising heat and turbulent wind conditions combine to form a whirling eddies of air. These eddies contract a tornado-like vortex that sucks in debris and combustible gases. These are sometimes called fire tornadoes, or fire nados, or fire swirls, or even fire twisters. A fire whirl consists of a burning core and a rotating pocket of air. A fire whirl can reach up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit or 1000 degrees Celsius. Fire whirls become frequent when a wildfire or especially a firestorm creates its own wind which can spawn large vortices. Most of the largest fire whirls are spawned from wildfires. They form when a warm updraft and convergence from the wildfires are present. They're usually about 10 to 50 meters tall and a few meters wide and thankfully last only a few minutes. Some, however, can be more than a kilometer tall, containing wind speeds of over 200 kilometers an hour and persist for more than 20 minutes. Fire whirls can uproot trees that are 15 meters tall or even more. These can also aid in the spotting ability of wildfires to propagate and start new fires as they lift burning materials such as tree bark. These burning ambers can be blown away from the fire ground by the stronger winds and it is these winds that drive the spread of fires. An extreme example of a fire whirl is the 1923 Great Kanto earthquake in Japan which ignited a large city sized firestorm and produced a gigantic fire whirl that killed 38,000 people in 15 minutes. The first recorded fire tornado was down under in Australia on the 18th of January 2003. Lightning sparked a wildfire near Cambria, Australia. Its smoke produced a large cumulonimbus cloud. The clouds grew into a supercell thunderstorm. The Australian wildfire produced winds of up to 130 kilometers an hour. Scientists then used maths to analyze a photo taken to estimate the size of the cyclone's rotating structure. They gauged the updraft speed of the tornado to be 200 to 250 kilometers an hour. That's enough to lift and toss a vehicle. And it may come as no surprise then that this funnel of air was able to throw the seven metric ton roof of water tower more than a kilometer away. The unsettling phenomenon doesn't last long thankfully, but are often mistakenly referred to as fire tornadoes or fire nados. Scientists reportedly discouraged the latter since fire whirls aren't formed like tornadoes which occur due to conditions up in the atmosphere. Instead, fire whirls are created when hot and dry air rises quickly from the ground. According to science writer Mark Lanilla, fire nados have more in common with whirlwinds and dust devils which typically form on hot sunny days where the ground heats up the air nearby. As more hot air is pulled into the rising column it begins to swirl in a vortex, not unlike a vortex that's formed when water goes down the drain in your bathtub. Most of the world's tornadoes occur in the United States in what's known as Tornado Alley, stretches from West Texas to North Dakota. This area can see more than 200 tornadoes a year. As always, I've been Stephen Doyle with 5 Minute Geography. Please hit the like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. And if you'd like me to cover a specific topic, please just pop it in the comment section below.